All right, I'm gonna do a quick intro. So it's so you're not gonna actually talk, Benji. It's just me and. Yeah, I, I'm not good at commentating because I don't really comment very much. Um, so I'm, as far as uh, what's going on and all that, I probably won't see the things you guys see. So that's why I, I prefer to have a couple of commentators in there. That way they can uh, take the slack and I can focus on keeping the stream running. All right. One second. What's up guys, welcome to GTL Intermediate League. I am joined here with Fear My Skill, Tank Killer, and Lone Killer as our commentators. What's up guys, how you doing? Hello, how are you guys What's doing up? tonight? Man, I all right, started, all right, how's that going? <laughs> I started playing tanks today, oh my god, I suck. <laughs> it's, been, it's been a while since I've played on console. Happens, nothing's changed in a year, so oh, I need to reserve my opinions on Wargaming, don't I? Never mind. <laughs> Forget what I said. Who are you doing on PC though? Is it fun? Yeah, I really enjoy it. I just finished up uh, Frontlines uh, this past week. I Road to Berlin game mode where you get a whole bunch of stuff, rewards, and all that. I watch it. Which is all. It's so okay, cool. it's, a little, it's a little slow paced. You go against bots. Wow, I might have changed over. <laughs> you go against bots. Actual yeah. bots or like uh, yeah, actual PC bots. bots. They they advertise that it's um, improved AIs, which is as far as like how they fight and all that. Which like they got like the way they shoot and all that is, but the movements are a little <laughs> lacking. They'll reverse out a cover, side on to you, shoot, and then pull back forward so you can shoot them before they can even. Oh. I mean, it's honestly, it's the same with the Xbox puppy, so I guess they're pretty accurate then. Yeah. They're just copying movements out of all the billies. It's alright. Wouldn't they have something like that on PC? Like a survival mode? Like They've, they've had a lot of different game modes. Yeah. Like I remember the for LTS streaming it. Yeah, it was actually hard to win it. Because it was tier 5, uh, I believe. I'm not sure. I don't mean to interrupt Is the you timer guys, starting? but we all set, ready to go. I'm about to start the timer now. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Time you guys... So it is important to. Go ahead. Sorry, I was just to say, okay. um, which one of these teams you said it, their map pick was proc? Was King you said? Yeah. King has um proc. Yeah. Right. So they should have the some thing. relative, yeah. some relative idea of what they're gonna be, uh, doing in this match. So it should be interesting to see what they do in comparison, in comparison to what NT is gonna bring out, but. Uh, I don't know. I've never seen either of these either of these teams play. I don't know about any of anyone else in the party. Yeah, I was about to um, say I'm not too familiar with these clans. Do we have any predictions as far as how everything will go overall? No, I remember Stormcloud from a previous clan. I remember playing against him in another clan I was in. But I've heard of NT. Um, I heard they were pretty well with their uh, Russian tanks. I'm not sure on King. I haven't seen them play. This is the first time I've seen both these teams play in comp, and I'm pretty excited seeing this. The interesting thing about uh, Intermediate League, in terms of competitive, is that it's very unpredictable. Just, I don't think we can like predict what's going to happen. Teams could play very standard, or teams could try to do new things. That's what I think. It's yeah. fun mm -hmm. to watch these games. I agree. In some I agree. Way. I know I've personally seen, I know a couple people, I believe, well, it might have been a different king. I know a guy named Hippo, who used to be in a clan called King. I don't know if it's the same one. It could be separate, but um, I know I have seen King in the matchmaker before. I've also seen NT, um, and I would say that both these teams are pretty evenly matched in terms of just, I've been looking through some just statistic numbers on their websites, and I know stats aren't everything, but um, statistically they're pretty even. Right now, I'd say King is throwing a more um, baseline setup out compared to the 277 CCTP and 705A out of NT, but, uh, you know, any strat could work if they do it well enough. We'll King is playing a very standard lineup. Like yep. QIO 7s, QIO 7s, QIO 7s. This reminds me of, like, I don't know, the map, the good teams. 
NT is probably going with a more weird lineup, probably because they don't have the tanks that are required or because they want to try something new. We will we will see. So. Is this Yo, did, do you have your game set as World of Tanks version? Huh? Do you have your game set? Oh. Uh, dingy? What's that? Sorry. <laughs> He's wondering, if you have your, he's wondering if you have your game set as World of Tanks console. Then like my primary game? Yeah, oh, I for the stream. Guess, yeah, yeah, for the stream it, it's yeah. set up as just World of Tanks, not World of Tanks. Sweet. You guys want to go that? down their tank lane up? They got their tanks up and the timer's up. Uh, can do. I mean... I'll we'll run do down battle. King, I guess. King's on defense. We're doing the battle. Sorry. Time's up. <laughs> You're fine. I remembered most of the tanks. They had like a 2-6-1, two Batrats, two Supers, two IS-7s, okay, and... Go. Like, what, a 200 LT? That's how good my memory was. Yeah, I saw a T-100 LT. I'm surprised they're running artillery. I mean, artillery's a good... I am too, but... You know, good strat uh, to run. I mean, my team runs artillery all the time. Is this 60 TP, uh... Pretty common tank to see on comp. Absolutely not. I don't see uh, not it. Really. I don't see it a lot. Not, no, no. not really. It's, it's just not. It, it's good on a couple different maps. Like uh, you can get away with running it on Ravage Capital, just because of the way the engagements work. You're very close in ridges, but like, it doesn't have DPM, gun handling, mobility, hit points. Are it kind of has. It's definitely work. interesting to see a 60 in this map. Ent is going mm -hmm. with E4. I don't know, it's just a very weird lineup. They're playing a fourth carry as well. Let's see why they do. I don't understand the lineup, but... I'd weird. say their weirdest tank is probably the 705A, honestly. Uh, at least specifically yeah. on this map. And King has a pretty mobile lineup, I like it. T100, but uh, they're going very standard, kind of like... Yeah, they're trying to play like the top teams. They're probably gonna come the one line, they have the 261. I will put the 261 at A7, but they probably want to focus more on one line. Uh, NT has oh, people at one line as well. They're pushing in. I like it though. I like this. Very interesting. This could play very well for either teams. They've kind of just split uh, both sides of the maps with NT prioritizing the right side or the eastern side of the map and King prioritizing the west. NT going. So. Yeah. They're seeing the 60. King the 60 actually put their 100 LT. On the A9 zone, right there on that hill. Yeah, there's a couple different. Go A0. Go A0. I was about to say, there's a couple different be better, better bush positions he could be using that bush wouldn't really be. I mean. Yeah, I don't think the bush is the best one. But... It's not. There's a very overpowered bush. One at A0. But they don't have a lot of build, one... though. They have 60 TP still, not 5 E4 and Chief on the bag. I don't know where would you put the E4 there. They probably won't be able to spot him anyway, because there is like no battle on this side of the map. And I think King is not really using their mobility, their battles are just like very static, they're just starting in the middle ridge. I think they should have left, left someone on the bushes at C1 and A6. He's going for the triple cap though, they have 25 seconds. Um, I don't know yeah, what the reload is, Artie's almost reloaded, so... They should really, NT should split those three tanks up at 60 TP, 705A, because that 261, although it doesn't have a big splash, could probably triple reset them all at once. But Let's we'll see, see what I happens. guess, when he If Eskong is able to get that B6, they are going to be able to farm damage and reset them. Everything is on RT right now. They have one second. No. RT not reset. It like NT taking it with a cat. Right. This is what GG. I'm saying, the games are unpredictable. Yeah, unpredictable, yeah. Time. I would have thought the 261 would have had a shot there, but I guess, I don't know if he didn't have one. Great damage boards out of both teams. Phenomenal damage, Fred. Wow. Good 300, stuff. 396 break in the bay. Oh, 439. You I didn't can't. see that. I think King had a good strat, but they just had, like, terrible execution. Like, you always need to leave, like, Vision on A6 because the team 100 is just not enough. You have Vision to, like, yeah. spot if they full push you, but you don't have Vision to know if... If they're like pushing east, you don't have the information. If you don't have information, you're not going to be able to uh, rotate early. And if you don't rotate early, this is this is what happens. You lose positioning, you lose cab, you lose the game. 
And I think their response was a little lackluster too. They knew everyone was in the cap and everyone was just kind of slow. So I think they probably had the initial like superior setup based on what we saw, but they just didn't rotate or move into better positions when NT decided they actually wanted to cap the base. But good game out of the first round, I guess. Both teams. As I called it, they needed the battle on A6 and probably an SCOM under the bridge. That's what if they had an the SCOC under the, the bridge, completely different game there. All those heavies would really have gotten reset. You don't need four tanks on one line. You only need one tank on the bushes on one line because the, their battles were being useless. That was the mm -hmm. problem. They had like very static fucking lineup for the bad shot. To be fair, I think both sides medium tanks were being kind of useless because you saw NT's push down that one line, didn't really do anything, turned back around, went all the way to the other side of the map uh, to get to group with the heavies, but um, I really thought, I think the 261 might have let them down there. I don't know if he was able to get shots. He was 100% reloaded for that cap reset, but I don't know... If he actually had an angle, I would assume he did. I don't think the ridge is actually that big to block his shell trajectory up and over. I just don't know why he didn't take the shot. I Unless wonder, it truly was completely blocked. I wonder if the trains prevented him from getting a good hit. Oh, he didn't even bat. try, which was the weird part. Yeah, the bat, I think, so was out in the open. That's what I was confused about. Yeah, the matchup was out in the open, so... No, he was ready, I was, because that's what I looked at, see if he was oh, sure reloading or what he was doing, okay. but... He was ready, to, I don't know what... Again, I wasn't in the party, so I don't know, but... It'll be interesting going into round two to see what King does on their assault. If they go into a similar... ...lineup, or if yeah, they like want to change things up. King is going standard, they just got unlucky, probably they are just like getting experience. Like, for the next time, you can put Ari on A7, so Ari can, like, get wrists on both caps mm -hmm. instead of A1 and the tank A6, and they would have won very easily this game. The timer has been started, I assume? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Time has been right. started. Sweet. And he coming out again with a couple different, I would say, non conventional vehicles for Proc. Yeah, you don't see the 758 run a lot in proc at all. I don't see it that often. We don't. You really, really don't even see the E4 that much. You don't see many uh, vehicles like the E4 705A, the slower uh, 750 Alpha TDs. With proc is all about turret armor. All the position, mm -hmm. all the good positions are about turret armor. Gun depression turret armor. But but at this, at this league, like, pretty much any tank can work if they have decent communication and teamwork. I think that's what made a difference last game. They had an idea of what they were doing. Again, though, King just has a super, like, that, you know, you could almost copy-paste that lineup to some of the better teams. I you know, that, that lineup would work. 113, double 5 A's, double IS-7s, double bats. That's not, you know, that wouldn't be uncommon. Yeah. It's not that special, but it's... You could definitely make that work out of a lot of teams, whereas NT with the 705 E4 double chieftains, kind of weird, especially for defense, I guess. I don't know where you're going <clears> to... <throat> I mean, I don't know what they see may as a maybe over the super the... for holds. But... I say place the 705A in the city area, but yeah, you know, I don't see it that much either. I rather I prefer. Seven five A is very weird, and even then, city would get crossed from a hill. Like, oh yeah, know, city you can just I get agree. free like farm him. from hill, especially. I like I really like King lineup. They actually understand what is yeah, going on. What is going on? I think Chiefs play can, rather I can understand aggressive. The though, like, Escom is way better than Chieftain, but at the same time, they could prefer the Chieftain. It's just all right. You can play the same positions. Chieftain is worse than Escom because if you are in the open and in proc when you get flung or if you lose a position, sometimes you are in the open and that's when Escom shines, you have way better armor. On a bad shot, if you mm -hmm. are fighting against a Chieftain that is in a bad position, you are just going to get completely obliterated. That's why Escom is preferred in this kind of maps. Time's up. Match is starting. It is a pretty heavy Russian lineup out of uh, NT though, so this will be interesting.
Yeah, I'm kind of curious where they are going to put that son of 5A at, though. They might be on top of something here, but who knows. I, You know, we might see a 1-2 line push here out of King, based on the tanks they're yeah. playing. You know, Chinese, Definitely. very fast, mobile heavies. And then I forgot to check to see what else they had. What, two IS-7s, two they bats? Yeah, two bat chats. They are uh, set up for... They could do a lot with this setup, but... Are they going to IS-7s with the bat chats? Uh, none. Oh, they're you might call it there. Wait, are they? Yeah, they're pushing the IS-7s with the bat chats. Yeah, they're pushing the IS-7s with the bats to keep yeah, this up. Is this is an all-out push, push out of the... Where have we seen this before? I've seen this before. A lot of teams do it. Use the bats to push the IS-7s. Okay, yeah, this is definitely the one line push. But and this is good for them. If the 200 uh, OT spots, is then... A cap alone. Ooh, he gets the spots the in. Spotted he gets all the spots of them. NT has all the information. Okay, NT though. has the info. Yeah, now they have to rotate accordingly. But looks like they are not reacting. They are kind of surprised. Now Let's NT they definitely do. they got the spots in, but they need to move their tanks over. They know. No, they don't need to. You don't need to move your tanks over, what you need to do is change, uh, essentially exchange map positions. So now what NT has to do is take the DE6 position and get them into a crossfire. They can, like, they can leave their E4705A277 there as long as they can get... Their 705 Interesting. This yeah. 705A position can be key because, uh... I think he's gonna have all the one line positioning, but they didn't left anybody in middle. So that means that that 705 is not being crossed for anyone. So this could be a problem mm -hmm. in the long run. They really should rotate an IS-7 or the 277 though out and into the mid position. It's too late at Just this for another tank. Yeah. I would agree it is too late, but I think having two of those, both those tanks there is kind of redundant. But NT is gonna have a lot of crossfires they here for their chieftains. And mediums can get into position. Nice shots into the 113. The ball, if they That's don't take the ball now, they are gonna get trapped the whole game. Oof. Yeah, 113 got hit this by the 705A, I think. This is gonna be tough for King. No, the E's giving up a they lot they of positions. The shots, but they are over committing into positions. That's the problem. I mean, NT isn't getting away with this, though. Like, their IM7 is getting farmed. I'm. NT hasn't really got the rotations out that they should have to secure this win because King can still rotate out. Uh, their that chieftains are still trundling in. But too much HP. Each team is kind of this throwing is HP. I don't game. think they need to. But now King has realized their mistake and they want to try to rotate their Batchats out of position or into something else. I'm unsure what their plan is here. 705A is still full HP though. Holding that yeah, rock position, so that's can, why I was. No, nobody can cross back here. Nobody. Yeah, that's why I'm thinking like these two heavy tanks back here, this IS-7 and this 277 are kind of redundant. The 705A could have done this by himself, and then you rotate your whole team onto the mid ridge. And what do they want to do? They want to push the 705A out. They have to cross over an open field to get to him, and you would just full farm him. I will definitely leave one of them. Guys, so. Yeah, but maybe maybe like a British, like a Supercock or something would have been better, or 5A, something with a bit more DPM and Sting yeah. when they finally do decide to commit to the push instead of... I guess the 277 isn't bad, but it doesn't have the when DPM. When you have this kind of strats where you're committing to one side of the map, you need to have map control for information mm -hmm. or for crossfires. Look, uh, NT has basically... 60% of the map control, even more. They are, they might lose their 430U here though, because King is rotating all of their tanks onto this guy. And... Uh, the 113 boot a lot of HP. The 200, the 200 is dead, that's important. He's they dead. can counter push this and get into the game again. They are doing yeah, they it, can. that's the right play. They are coming in. And they can Batchat should kill, kill this guy and then kill the Chieftain too. Yep. Chieftain is basically free kill. Yeah, this is very good play for King, nice. Like they are just doing the right play. This is, this is nice, this is good to watch. As I said, Chieftain are just free kills. Like, Bobcat should try to get out if he can. He, he can should do start backing up to that rock. He bounces the shots, 113 is going in. Is he going to get punished? 5 8 takes the shot for the 113. Chieftain will be dead. Oh, Bobcat the Chieftain was able free. to kill that bad. That's not good. This but is either way. 
hit points are still kind of close. Yeah. But he's going the in. As I'll say, if the, chist if the Chistons would have been S2, they wouldn't have been able to survive for probably 10 more seconds. That's like two more pens, and that's like more, team, more time for your team to react. 7 on 5 is still full HP, but no, King is in a good position. They, they have an L2 yeah. place now, they really like this, making great plays. This E for this other free kill they're gonna pick up. Yeah, NT had the rotation down, like, rotated correctly. I would say, er, they didn't really, they rotated like half. They should have done, they should have rotated more vehicles to the Chieftain position, and they might have stood a chance if the IS-7 or the 277 was there, but they kind of just left their Chieftains to die. Their Chieftain and their four tanks. The dinner they didn't react. they wanted to hold the Russians. Yeah. King reacted and NT didn't. That's what made the difference. So that original is positions. Multiple shot. There is some question it's so possible. Here. Nah, this is win. Especially because they are the family. I don't think it is possible. So I mean, one shot is and shouldn't die. There's still bouncing shots on him. He's finally dead. <sighs> you know. NT could still win. I, it's, although to be fair, it's it's going to be very difficult for them to do so as soon as the Batcha, unless the Batcha takes that driving line and just drives into the 705A, which I guess they want the 705A to take shots now. I don't think this is one at all. NT doesn't have enough defense. Yeah. And I is getting in a crosshair position. That's a good call. He's the lowest P one. And Batcha is just going to get four or five shots here for free. Basically because they have not else. GG to King, 1-1 one, one on the first map. Uh, I guess had this being King's map, they would have preferred to go 2-1 or sorry 2-0 going into the second. Considering this next map is NT's pick, so it'll be NT's should in theory have came up with stuff, but uh, yeah. They they rotates out of King. Just, yeah. They reacted well, unlike the first game. Reactions are making a difference pretty much in these mm -hmm. first two games. I guess the only way that could have gone a little bit better for King is if they would have left. So they push, have their Batchats push their IS 7s onto that line, and then they just rotate their Batchats back to essentially kind of where they spawned on the one line. And they could, those Batchats could have clipped those. Uh, chieftains for free, without even losing one, I'd say. But good stuff. One of the batches on King doing, you know, five thousand combined, three thousand damage. In two cases, in five A. Able to pick up two K. One was able to put out much damage on NT side, but that was a good first map. Very good team play out of King in this game. They could have took the two wins easily, but first game position just wasn't right. But I'm sure with the experience they're gonna get this season, they be a very strong team in, in the next league or something. I will bet for them to win this intermediate league. Yep, and now Sin River should be really interesting because I know Fear Me and you have an idea of how the map is kind of sort of played. And specifically, it's very hard to lose a Sand River defense. Or I wouldn't say it's bit, well, it's difficult because Sand River has a lot of dominant positions for the defensive team. So it'll be interesting exactly. to see how both of these teams attack and defend this and see what if they're going to use some certain, certain positions that are very strong. Uh, I just don't know. Considering King is to expect, I wouldn't be surprised if they are gonna try to copy use the positions. Yeah, yeah. I they definitely look like they've they done some research. K zero. If they go for H nine, if they go for C nine, I wouldn't be surprised really. Just depends. It can go either way. At this point, one one. 
This map is very this this game is very important. Whoever wins this game, I think, is positioning himself as the winner of the game of the, of the match. And I will say, going into this NT, having the defensive or are you switching spawns? King's gonna be switching first. Okay. King's defending. So with yes, King defending that. first, I'd say King has an advantage. But it is NT's map, so with King's default defense advantage, I don't know if NT will have a strat to overcome that. Uh, I, but with the tanks NT have, has picked, or half picked, I should say, they could run something interesting here that could break the lineup and just the general way King has played. The King has pushed their tanks pretty much together on either side of the map, and they've done it two times in a row now. So if King does that and they're not careful, NT could cap the base like we saw the first one. Uh, it's gonna be a Love to see how this goes in the next round. I'm gonna go grab some water. King is defending, correct? Sure. If NT doesn't run Ardy on the on attack, I think it's pretty much not winnable. My prediction is King taking very dominant positions. Even though they they probably won't execute them perfectly, those positions are just too strong in this map defense. So NT needs either to play Ari and play the RNG game, like everybody else does, or surprise with a push or something else, if they want to get into the game again. I was a little surprised that they <clears throat> ran a 4.30... And then a 430U. On the last map. On the last was, match? I think it was NT that ran him. I don't really... I can understand the 430. Like, the cam of the 430 can be, really work. On maps like Murobank or this one. I'd rather play a Gun Depression tank just because it's Brock, but... I can understand the 430U at some point. <laughs> I don't really know how they play the 430U. I wasn't paying attention. It was uh, mid-range support. However... For the most part, I mean, it went in towards the end, but yeah, you can really use your cam and take dominant positions because the tank is like too small. You can take cover with the smallest yeah. bomb. I know it's been so, a while since I've done comp on here, but uh, when I did, it was the one for that not, people not preferred. Something, a four thirty U in proc, but the normal no, four thirty definitely is, surprising. Has lost a little bit. Oh, it has. Okay. It has. Not a lot of teams are using the 140. Some teams still use it, but you'll see the 430 being played a lot more than the 140. Well, yeah, that makes sense. Or the FE open map. or 202, you would see that being played as well as a um, bridge on a sniper. I've mm -hmm. seen those tanks been played a lot, too. I still it's prefer the uh, Centurion mm -hmm. over the 202. What were you saying? I'm sorry. Um, I think the 140 doesn't get played because it doesn't really fit a, a role. Probably if we had like big, bigger games like 10v10s or 12v12 or 15v15, 140 spam could be strong because you can just take a flank mm -hmm. with five of them. But in, in <clears throat> games of like games like this, like multi-base assault, 7v7, 88, you're not gonna see it because it's just gonna get outclassed by bad chats, by chisels, but tanks with better armor. And 430U oh. is not really like, it doesn't get played a lot, it only like gets played on specific positions where you can really use your camo and your mobility. Yeah, I got you. Uh, to give your team better angles, like advantage. Like 430U is For good example, against Batchats because the Batchat and the 430U actually have like the same camo rating. So if you're using a 430U to try to break a Batchat position, unless a Batchat if you have a good 430U driver, and unless that Batchat has a heat clip loaded, the Batchat should struggle to kill him. Okay, Emphasis on should, because of the gun. I've seen 2430... 4302. 24302. From attack team, I think. Yes! Very weird pick, but let's see how it works. I'd say it's quite interesting. Definitely. I... I mean... What are they firing at? They're firing at Batchat's IS-7 Super Conquerors. I mean... <laughs> yeah, King again they would... playing with a very standard lineup. 
Of my problems. Yeah. <laughs> they don't have a. Oh, they do have a team. Let's see where they send the party. This is the interesting. Why are they going south? Let's see if he takes the position. If it, they are going to have a more defensive setup. Looks like NT is going for the south push. I think that's what they should do. But if the five manages to get to K0, it's, it's going to be very tough for them to do anything. I don't know if the 5A is going to Kazer. I don't think they're planning on playing. I think they are actually setting a more defensive line. They're probably yeah. just going to stay there where they are. MT doesn't have RE, that's a problem. So they can just set up and play with the time. King has taken the full. Or has taken the full, but they, they are. Got they have spotted, pretty... though, my information. It's gonna be interesting to see if each if uh, NT wants to push into this or if they're gonna try to bleed these three heavy tanks. They have down in the middle. NT doesn't have B. They're playing very aggressively, but I'm surprised that no, they didn't left anything at D2 for the info. So they are pushing, being blindfolded. Not very good, but it could work for them. Yeah, as you guys can see, NT has very dominant positions. Badchat on A line, getting info on that side. Uh, Eskons in Eskon positions. And they have three tanks here. Like, I will do that differently, but it's definitely gonna work out for them. They have a very good set of turtle here. The only yeah. way I would break this was would be like putting one heavy tank on F6 so he can cross for the heavies. But I don't even think that would work. I think they needed RT. You need RT to attack in this map. This is very hard. A super cost on key headshots in the sides. Yep. That's why like, capping that cap circle is very difficult. Um, mm -hmm. Just because of the position the defensive team gets. And then capping it specifically with heavies doesn't really work. No. The only way they could cap is like sacrificing them and shielding it, but I doubt they will do it. That will be like the only way out I see for this. Now they could send but, yeah. a tank to get these IS sevens back down, but they just haven't done any of the rotations to get the chieftains close enough to do that. The chieftains could be punishing these IS sevens from you know the J9 position and they could back these heavy tanks up allowing I don't know rotations to happen or maybe a possible cap but the one is coming from behind for info that's important might be able to spot the chief yeah. I think NT needs to push right now J0 or something because or push the medium tanks, they could push these. yeah with that they would like tell that the ISM from the fight they need to fall back they are basically getting this position for free with no punishment of two for two at use at J0 will make them fall back at least. Surprised yeah, they pushed the 705 for yeah. They actually he can't don't. really. Mm, that, that's super conscious. That's a decent spot. I will get closer to the mountain so I can get super plated. But that's definitely interesting. I don't think he will be able to cap, but he's definitely a very strong distracting factor. I don't know. Very interesting play. They still don't have anyone sent. They could be crossing all of these. The double IS7 and the 5A. These guys, these guys shouldn't be able to beat that position. But NT has yet to send anyone around to the zero line to actually punish them for being there. Two tanks on the cap circle now. The IS7. Like, oh, is pushing the open. A lot of yeah, the King is. Before the Eskun pushing the open. King is actually pushing the 5A. That's they should have held the positions. Run. They're not. They like, gave up their super, yeah, one of their super contacts on the armor. I think. I think NT NT is too afraid of making plays. They have five tanks mm -hmm. in the same ridge. It's not really being useful. They could like divide those tanks in a more effective way. Forty two is pushing. Like look at this. Forty two is pushing by itself on K K two. Like, I think the other one's trying to come too. It's just kind of slow. And, the other 40 but, is coming to help. Just... It's also going to be 
out of the marksmanship of the 4202 drivers if they are wanting to fire hefts to get the maximum DPM out. Let's they are going to get pushed by this game. bat chat. And the 4202s are getting pushed by T100 mm -hmm. and probably 4202 misses. This bat chat isn't getting and punished. This bat chat is about to. 220. Choke the, the hefts. On the brown, the is about to die. King has full map control, as I said, but he, HP is kind, kind of equal though, but since they are attacking, you need HP to push on some driver and they don't have it anymore. So even though they have full HP as well and they have like decent positions, I don't think they can get them at this point. There is no way for them to attack this anymore. I mean, it is interesting to say they did lose the FE202 did eventually kill that batch at and they haven't quite pushed in. I mean I will say King does definitely has more dominant positions, but if King could throw this, if they decide to actually push into these British heavy tanks with their heavies, they could get King farmed down. To push. They, they push, don't they need to, but if they do. Yeah. They can just stay where they are and they just have the win in, the, in their pocket. This NT FE202 could win them the game, but he has to start playing a bit better. He would have to kill this Batcha and this T100 LT, which he could do. The FE202 tank, the FE202 specifically, mm, would be a he's one of the better tanks to do in, but brow. he shouldn't really be interfering with these heavies. He doesn't want to, br shouldn't bring attention to himself, first of all, but he should be the trying to focus to on these the mediums. Mm -hmm. yeah, they can manage to. Kill the T100 of the Batcha that could put them on the game again. Super Conqueror versus IS7. IS7 ammo rat got damaged. Scorpius shooting their IS7. Scorpius should win this 1v1 versus this IS7. Being in the Super Conqueror. He should be able to kill. He bounces. No, no, he misses. He bounces and gets an ammo rat damage in return. FE202. The Batcha's coming Speaking in. Again. They're going to lose the FV. Got the light yeah, tank out though. Bent again. This guy's not taking advantage of his reload advantage. This this FE202 fears winning this engagement over here. Batchat's out of uh oh, out of his shell and he killed the team in the middle of the team. Again, but they have really lost so many speed of heavies for no reason. Nice. Batchat's gonna die AG. and then it'll be should have an easy hash pen here. Yeah. His team already lost the game. They're trying Do to not ram. Well, but I think it's too late. Let's see, there is still one shot tanks here, they could win this brawl, because the chieftain is in a very good position here. Okay, they there we go, in, and the, IS, the king IS-7 misses his shot, the Eskom is coming in. They could keep this IS-7 and they could be again in the game, if they react fast. They really, they could but, just let this chieftain free farm too, the it's swallow 27. Could kill this IS-7 pretty much for free here, nice. yep. They are in the game again. They have a lot more guns, but no HP and no time, let's see what they do. So last game Gizmo is going to be very low in HP. They, they, they shouldn't they really be leading with them. Esmond coming at the back. I think they are going to aggressive. King is going to aggressive at this point. They could actually lose the game because of kills. They needed to play more defensively. Esmond is going in. Esmond can still die. Sefi 202 needs to get into a better farm position. Ooh. IS7 low rolls. Esmond could kill this IS7. Oof. This is... This is very tough, very low HP from both teams. They get the kill and they have 1 minute and 20 seconds to kill two Eskons. FE202 shouldn't have approached from that angle. The FE202 could have drove he up the ramp and shot this guy in the back. Yep, yep. Yeah, he should have been the ramp. But the fact yeah, they're about 100. to all go through a funnel in both of these two Eskons is going to be very difficult for them to win. Uh, Canvet could... really needed oh, to peak mid position. Is King game. is gonna win. They're just dying for free. Yeah, this is a yeah, King, King match. Is I believe. They actually got in the game, close game, very, mm -hmm. very nice game to see. As I said, just it's just so unpredictable. Like King had the game in their pocket, and then in two seconds, a 42 2 b ones a T100 on the match. Just anything can happen. But it's fun about these matches. As con dies. Yeah, the FE202 was the key to winning that game, and he was doing all the right s steps up until he didn't peak. He needed to peak, like, had... the G6 ramp. Yeah, definitely. And he had the, a lot of opportunities to get positional advantage. They could have pulled G0, 
they could have pushed J7 way earlier than they did. They mm -hmm. had mm -hmm. like six, seven chances to win the game. GG Arakin. I will say defense should be a little easier. Uh, it is the easier side. Yeah, so King had a Super Conqueror do 6,600 damage. That should never happen in a competitive game. Uh, if you allow a singular tank on the enemy team to do more than three to 4,000 damage, uh, you've really pushed yourself into some wrong positions. So the fact that he is able to do 6.6k, he definitely, I'd say, won his team the game. Uh, but... He countered empty positioning in the dunes. That was mm -hmm. important. Mm -hmm. He didn't lose a lot of HP for it, but you can always in the fact that HP for positioning. One of the FE 202s got zero damage, really hampered NT's ability to. Really. He pushed by himself. Yeah, he did. HP crossing. Just. And he could have won this game. Could have. Now NT gets to defend this, let's see what they can do. Let's see how, I'm more interested to see how King is going to attack this because King yeah. appears to be kind of trying to replicate strats that they've seen or from other higher teams or just tips that they've gotten from other higher players and how these maps should be played and they've just kind of slightly veered off of them. Yeah, I don't know if it's because they don't close. have faith in their play. Um... Yeah. I really think defense is a given in Sun River. Let's see what NT does. NT can definitely mm -hmm. win this game. As I said, defense has a lot of advantage on this map. Like, it for example, on the BGL, this map used to be banned, for example. Let's see what happens. I really think NT can win this game, but I wouldn't be surprised if King goes for a high push. I think that's what can happen. Something similar to what happened in the second game with Sound Proc. Okay, as you can see, King is always playing tryhard things. Chisel, bad chill, bad chill, seven escom. Really like it. Try hard. Try hard thing. <laughs> E4 again. Uh, I don't really understand the point of E4 in big maps, but... Yeah, cool yeah same with the 705. 705 a, unless a it's the map. only vehicle they have that specific yeah, player sort of you know. Which it could be. But I'd say the E4... I mean, they are defending, to be fair. So in E4, they could kind of hide him, but I it mean... Work. Definitely. If you're just going to hide him, there's a couple of the tanks that... Would be better, but King is going very mobile here with their. I think I am tanks. predicting King pushing ABC line, putting the chisels on D5, D6. Uh, Could I do. Seven's pushing A7 with the bad chat and the Escom sustaining the dunes. I think that's what the lineup is telling me. That's what I would predict if I was playing against them. I don't really think this is a lineup to play K line. This is definitely A line, I think. Let's see what happens. Two chieftains, picking chieftains over Eskong. They probably don't have Eskong, so it's just fine. 277 again, I cram back. I do cram back. It could pick. work. I've seen it work before. It could I mean, work, it's actually. A, you know, with what you it is. You guys got time to go down, down their tanks if you want. We got 90 seconds. I mean, I think it's the same. Kings ran a pretty basic lineup this whole time. Double chisel, double bat, double IS7, double supers is all. I mean, the chisels are kind of weird. I guess you could make that statement, but they're not terrible at the same time. Yeah. They can definitely work. I like yeah, running I on, Axis, on, on Axis, we will play this strat, but instead of Chisels, we will play 113. Or like a T100 and a 113 or a 5A. It's just because the Chisel specifically has a very good platform for a tank, the M40 at Patent Tour at the Action X Hall, but the gun handling it sometimes lets you down. It's a good tank, but the gun can troll you.
as well as with the penetration. It's also very excellent. But I am just checking real quick to see if the reason they're playing the 705A is because it's the only vehicle that they have at tier 10. Excuse me. 705A E100 50B. So it's not the only tier 10 they have. So they are playing the 705A because they want to. Alright, fair enough. This will be interesting. I'll be interested to see if Bobcat can find a way to dig his team out of this position. <laughs> I mean, Sand River defense is easier for Kings, uh, or for NT's credibility for losing the last round. Um, so if King, or if NT can win this one, bring it into the over... What's the point am I trying to say here? Bring it into the... Why can't I speak English right now? Bring it into the overtime map. The... I think that's what's gonna happen. I think this lineup. I I agree. agree. And so you guys are both King's predicting playing, overtime. Probably... Yeah, I think I'm predicting and I'm hoping They're overtime. Kayla, King, King's super conquerors are not in a good They're position. On point. They should get I'll, farmed. I'll give that it to them. CB, They're on point. That CB guy should get ripped yeah. right now by the all of the positions in the tanks. As should the IS7s. They should. They should really. They should have gotten. Yeah, this is definitely win. I think Stalin's gonna come through with the version four and wipe both teams at once. That's my prediction. These batchats should die. These batchats at a king are really out of position. They have no support either. No, this either is actually a decent them. position. It's not that bad. But I will put only one batch. There is no reason to have two there. I will just put the other batch in a more useful position. But. King is kind of trapped here, they need to either push the river or, or stay there, they don't really have anything else they could do. D100 bleed and a lot of HP, that's never good in the light end, but that's it. They can just the play chisels. with the time. they have E4, interesting position. Yeah, the chisels they should be farming, river. yeah. The chisels are going to farm the 705A, the 705A needs to leave this position down. Uh, he, he, he needs to play the position the Eskin was playing, yeah, he's already farmed back. I don't yep. know if I could be a problem, What's... if they don't play the ramp, but I will guess King will play the ramp, the ramp with the, with another Eskin that is in City. NT is kind of reacting, I just hope they don't have a react with that bad chat there, but anything can happen really. He has a solid throttle at the moment. But I'm telling you, if King pushes J0, like NT should have done last game, um, the Chieftains can actually get shot in the side to run. They can be in a but They're 200 LT, I feel like he's taking pretty unnecessary risk. I feel like the 200 LT is playing, yeah he is, he's playing for shots instead of just vision versus all these guys. He needs to play definitely more safely, if he dies, his team just has no information and they can just get ambushed. Like... Yeah, I'm unsure Maybe. what King's Batchat's plans are here. They keep, they've rotated in, then they've rotated out, and then it looks like they're gonna know. take the position that they did have, I don't, have. I don't know if their goal is to yeah. kill the bat. Yeah. I think their goal is to kill the team in the real team, which they might actually get him here. One shot he's in, gonna go he's going to be close. Not really using the one push work or anything. He, he needs to play the bush game now. I think he needs to go with the E and sort of play A line now. Just to spot the battles, but he's still playing very aggressively. The team on Hunter will die much more soon than later. The Tuner is gonna die right now, the Bat Jets are gonna send in. Tuner Rotis dead. going in for T100, they missed their fish shot. Yeah, but they don't know the camera in there, they could just counter push this, let's see what happens. E4 is in a bad position now, that's unfortunate. No, E4 is actually busier now. They're just gonna get away for free, I guess. Kraman could pick them, one shot in, nothing for free. Okay, sure, well. 705 and 277 in decent positions, and, and King is actually pushing the cap. As I said, they're pushing J0, which is important because uh, NT doesn't have anything to counter them. 
Is it Chisel who's, who's just getting bad wages, but he's not doing anything? They, yeah, this Krongwagen is the keynote. This Krongwagen has to keep the Batchets off the 705A and the 277. Because if the Batchets start clipping these guys, actually, I think the Chieftain, or not the Chieftain, sorry, the Chisel has easy shots into these guys. Chisel and I think has King has this one. And so on, so on. The question is can he pick with all these Chieftains there? Yeah, he's picking. He yeah, he angle. can. I think he can get shot there. I would pick more to he the right, to the right side. And just... Yeah, he can't get shot. He's completely safe. Oh, oh. The Batu is pushing their Batchet. Empty. Empty Batu is pushing. Straight through a he's crossfire, too. He's trying to kill one Batchet. There it is. He dies. For that. Kraman needs to come. Kraman needs to go. Kraman needs to go. Batchet's clipping the heavies. Okay. Is the Batchet's accuracy gonna kill these heavies? Pilot. No, this is. Is the accuracy still bad on the Kraman? Or have they buffed it? Yeah, the accuracy is. The accuracy is fine in the Krongwagen, it's just... It, we have some... We have exclusive PC bot Or not, sorry. We have exclusive console boss that PC never got, so the Krongwagen's gun handling isn't actually terrible. It's okay. just, uh... It doesn't have the penetration to contest with a lot of vehicles. They didn't get the, uh, the DPM buff that PC got, though, right? No, it doesn't have the three-shot 440 gun. Okay. I wish it did, but... Yeah, I'm working on that line right now. I'm at the Emil too. It's really nice. <laughs> the key to this sure. game is just NT hasn't punished these Batchets at all. These Batchets have been able to go in, go out like three different times on a large Someone group of heavies. Him. And I think this Batchet is like in. in front of them, just pushing for free. I don't understand. Just these Batchets. Crazy. Yeah. They're not getting punished, they're just driving around. This Krongwagen should. Destroy these bat jets now. Like both of them are spotted. He knows where they're at. He, he just needs to go. I don't, sure. I don't understand why he's yeah. not pushing them. He's like, loaded. Can he trust should him. kill. I don't know what he's waiting for. Empty can still win this. They have all the HP. He does have. have he does have the barbecue. Get more aggressive. <laughs> but this Krongwagen could kill both these bat jets for free. Pretty much with the way the terrain works, but I think he's just I... like covering. I don't know. He's just holding. I mean, he's not one shot. He's got... he oh, Batches are going in. He could kill both of them. He has Miss. Audition. He's going for it. Um. Miss. Oh, yeah, he hit him. He's killed again. Let's Lost. see if Chitans can kill him. Nice, the Chitan actually reacted. The other Batch is coming in. He can actually get killed as well. The chief thing can kill this now. guy. Good. That okay. was a bad push. Yeah, and MT is again into the game, and they have all the advantage now. Even though the Kronman kind of threw there, but it was a bad push. But I mean, yeah. the Kronwagen choked super hard on that mag when he was unloading. Those both those bat should have been dead to the Kronwagen, and the chieftains could yeah, have been constantly shooting these heavies. I don't think the push was the correct thing. They should have just left again to C5 or something. Hey, it's interesting. Has this has this C4 even been in the game? I haven't been No, he C4. he I just got moved. I've been keeping an eye on that. He's been sitting in that same spot the whole time. He oh, just oh there we go. Out. Was that the E4? Oh, there we go. Okay, so now could, that the E4 actually has positions, yeah. This E4 could strength. be the key to winning. NT, they, they NT the is won. doing... Yeah, NT won. NT wins, GG. The Batchats... I... I don't know, don't think they threw, but... I don't think they should they have been alive well for as long as they think, should have. I think their team in general, I don't think the Batchats were well positioned at the, at, on the end game. Like, they killed mm -hmm. Team Andrea, they should have just dropped it out or do something else. I think staying there was just trapping themselves. And that ended up just throwing the game for King. Which they had a decent advantage in terms of positioning, but I think they they didn't really took the pos the correct positions. They had to go. No, NT doesn't need to push this. I hope they. I don't know if they know that. They really can just sit back unless they want to go. I guess what this is a points game now, yeah, isn't it? Where I don't. I don't really understand yeah. the perma picking the HP. Ifor is going in for some reason, but this could work. They just probably just won the game. They can still do this. If we could cross for I7, even though there is a card in front of him. He can just pick that in case he tries to do something. Now has the over uh lone killer, has the overtime or the, the overtime map been picked? Do we know Negative. what it's going to I be? I think the home team has okay. picked, so King will be picking the um okay. overtime match, yes. I'm and gonna I'll be post interested it on the Discord to see what they pick.
what this is gonna be. Cause unless NT really throws this, I see no way that King could win, seeing as they have a full health E4. E4 is getting a good uh, position here. That's a good angle for him. He could get up any die seven. It is. He should, actually. I don't know if he... And yeah, I7's I7's is... I7's yeah, actually getting in. farmed. The I7 good left his little hole there. Chieftain should have him. He's getting permanent. It's yeah, incredible, this I7 team. isn't spotting these two Chieftains. I don't know if it's because he has a dead commander. He forgets the kill, but those two, so told you. two Chieftains were unspotted. They should really go for the kill on this IS-7 for points for their league. It could be opportunistic, which I think they are going to send in everyone. They do have to do it in 20 seconds, though. To go to two. I didn't think it was going to... I didn't think NT was going to win this well, one either. Well, Proc, Proc is always a split of it. If you would drop from that, then... Really I gotta coming. kill this. There we go. Ooh, right, five GG, seconds NT. left. They were going to win anyways. Um, but, I mean, both teams having a tank that drops the donut. I I would say the donut out of the Super Conqueror is much more impactful, or like much worse yeah. for King, the fact that their Super Conqueror didn't do anything. Having a 277 drop a donut isn't the worst thing in your game because <laughs> the 277 sucks. They but, have the um, <laughs> yeah. The Chieftain, you know, 3.4k, and then their E4 was at farming, actually, up in that position, I guess. Yeah. Up in that little high ground. He was having well. on side turrets of I7, Eskun, and Chiso. He was definitely the one that was punishing King Aggressive. Last aggressive round, we had a 6.6k Super Conqueror. This round, we had a 5.2k E4. But, uh, That's GG. I'm, I'm excited for the next map. See what the next map is going to be. Hopefully, they well, don't pick, like... Pull over this again. Krogvog should have been ex like a lot better though. He did miss. Unfortunately, first team missed him. That's just fine. I would say pretty easy, but the chieftains did pick up for it, so they didn't actually lose anything out of the Krogvog and missing. So I mean, in the end, they won. GG. So you guys want to know the map they're picking? Absolutely. What is it? They are picking Hemostorf. I was about to say, I hope it's not coming there. If I had the chance to pick a map, I think I wouldn't pick this. It's... I mean, what, what do they steps. pick? Are they picking attack? If they are picking attack, then it's smart. It's... No, the other team gets to pick uh, attack or defense, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, NT Oof. gets to pick the side. So yeah, NT this gets is to not pick a very attack. good decision. There, NT is big in defense, so. NT picks attack. I don't know. This can go either way. I don't. I, pred I think I predicted King to win, but this can go either way at this point. He's still to you so and now that his... NT's picked Stop. defense? The lineup NT's been running, like, all day long with the 705 and the E4 is actually uh, a lot more viable. That could work for defense. Now, yeah, definitely. on Himmels, now that it's specifically this map, I would say that picking that wouldn't be such an out there, especially the E4. The 705 is still kind of weird, but... Um... Hopefully they don't pick the Chieftains, though. <laughs> yeah, hopefully no chieftains. That'd be bad. Yeah. This can go either way at this point. I think King has the advantage on attack. Attack is just a lot of advantage on him also. Like most map, defense has the advantage, but on this map, I think it's the other way around. Especially with King probably knowing what the meta strats are. I think this is gonna go the King way. This is my prediction for this game. The last match. 279E. 279Es. Coming out. That's interesting, especially when you're attacking. Like, I will understand it on defense. Can yeah, play man. Yeah, Some positions, oh. but Yeager. It's the main yeah, team. Yeah, I wouldn't play Some... the Yeager on a song. And I, would... I, uh... I don't know. I would. Chieftain. Chieftain's also questionable. Okay. Over the S Conks. I mean, unless yeah, they're putting him in a, a window, is... but even if they are putting him in a window, 4,005, King's going with a very blunt force lineup. Mm. Uh, I do think you're going to see a push. Well, not Definitely let's do Alpha deleted. Guns, yeah. I'm telling you right now, full deleted, one of the chieftains. If they pick T, of course. 
They are swiping the for the Death one Death Star? That's not a good call, but okay. I would... They can still run Which the seven, E4, nine. so they, they can could run that. a double. I think they, they can't, they're not... Are they able to do that? To play I yeah, I think they, they can run an E4 and a Death Star if they want to, yes. Is it no, uh, uh, two sorry. same limit? Two seven yeah, they, they just unpicked. Yeah. Okay. I don't know what the D-pick, I think, I think you can re-pick on Double 705 A's? IS-7, Death Star? That's not okay, terrible okay. for defense, but... Looks like they swiped one chief then. Okay, that's good. Double IS-7 now. That's... S conk now, they... that's good. So they have okay. S conks. They, they have S conks, yeah. They just, they for the chieftain. I mean, I don't having... understand why would you swipe. I think I don't know. I think they panic because King picked up four thousand five, so they just like okay, you pick four thousand five, we pick one eight three. I'm guessing, but E four I think was a better pick, I guess. The Jaeguru is definitely a weird pick. I wouldn't. Definitely. Question I'll I... BK, it's a good pick. I've played a I lot like of anti lineup. I this lineup it. makes a lot more sense than the past lineups. It does. To be fair, it does. I, I think agree. the weird lineup is from King this match. No Askum from attack, no 5A, no 1 tier team. And the 2790s actually aren't that good. The only that is from good. attack is 4005. I wouldn't play that from attack, definitely not. Especially playing against Askums. Let's see what happens. Alright guys, time's I'm up. Very Let's get forward. to the battle over time. <laughs> to be interesting, I, I mean... Based off tanks, I'd say NT has a better lineup. Just because... That Yigiru, you're going to find it difficult to put him in a decent position. Unless he's a really good player that can make do with fighting against the heavies. But I don't I don't know if he's going to be able to do that in the Yigiru. Whereas all of NT's tanks are kind of... Uh, like, just like, I'm not trying to be mean, but they're kind of stupid proof. They're easy tanks to play and use. And I don't know if King's going to be able to break it solely based on that fact. Uh, the king, king is kind of trolling the whole match by picking him over for the end. Let's see what happens. I don't discard them winning. Anything yeah. can happen, as I said. Just, uh, it's going to be interesting on positions. Notes, so I want to see who's going to do what. Kind of I would assume yeah. 4005 Hill, everybody else down? Or are you sending other people up there? Sending... is going to train, actually. Mm. Are they going to leave someone at window? I think is leaving... Going to leave King's leaving no one. Our positions. On the hill, they've completely forfeited the, the hill advantage. Oh, King is going B A cap. Okay, that doesn't make sense. I don't know. I would have yeah, to go with their B lineup. cap and try to brawl with them. They're probably gonna left the Jack Dancer at K two and then try to push with everything else. Yeah, I'd say they leave both their TDs in the know, back. They things. push with weird all their Russian everything. heavies, but these Russian heavies, these two seven ninety, should get punished by the. Chieftain sitting in this window as soon as they peek this at all. I like your little mingle trade. I like going going there. There. NT is playing so the close together. NT if is that they don't have anyone on E1, so they are not gonna have the info of King pushing train until they are out right on the cap. That's a problem. They should have sent that. This is seven here. There is with the chieftain and the Eskin shouldn't be here. I think he's he's not being useful there. If he would have been E1. Would have got thunder, I think it would have been but both teams are doing the same thing right now. They're both waiting for the other team to make the play. Even King is set up waiting for something to get spotted, waiting for something to move. NT is set up waiting for something to get spotted, waiting to move. So I don't know who's gonna do what here. The two seven seven does get spotted, he should get punished. Oh. What else spot him? Two seven seven is pushing. I would have pushed over two seven nine. This death star should get Ooh. harmed. Oh. That star is gonna get farmed. Ooh, oh, there we go. Thousand on the 277. Big shot from the one mm. and a Good kill. Night, okay. sir. One and three get safe. Yeah, that's that's very important. And now they have the info of the ISM is pushing. Like in, King has the positioning in this game, but I think that kill have, brings a lot of advantage. And the fact that this one and three still alive can be a. Uh, I think NT's for NT, making the right player too, rotating the VK and the IS7. If they can rotate those guys to start punishing. Uh, King 705 in the side here. Cap shielding himself with the 377, let's see. Is he gonna do that? Yeah, he's 100% doing that, okay. He the Death Star can reset him though. He's gonna... Here we go, Death Star's peaking. He's gonna be able to use side screen as a cap. Yeah, anything needs to do that. The IS-7. 
Spartan Spartan and Ghost Slam, the VK got a lot of headshots on that 75. No, they don't want to get three missed. The right play this is good. This is good play. Yeah, this is good this out is of NT. This is a very good play from NT. Let's see what happens. They lost their death star to reset splash though. Yeah, and the 705A is now the safe. He's not able to reset. They, they are able to reset now. Let's see. I said them reset. They got to reset. The VK is pushing. They're panicking now. This is not good. The VK is on a cross seconds. in front of this 4005. Even though the 4005 spotted. VK just got no. to work. Good night. VK just panicked, dude. Yeah. Oof. They got the yeah, I7 sending it out. Now. Yeah, yeah, they're in the five resets. They're just pushing in. <laughs> Don't know what's gonna happen. Two seconds. Who has the cap of two balls? Oh, they has got a pair of yeah, on him pushing open. in there like that. And HP is equal. HP is actually equal at the moment. Let's see what happens. 7 of 5 is in a very good spot right now. They can't just farm the... The, the, the Panzer will have to at this point. Very smart position in front of the 279. Uh, 279. 7 of 5 eh? That's completely his HP. Mm. I think King Opportunity on the game is the Jack Panzer killing the 7 of 5 or something. Jack Panzer is putting 3 shots. 4,005 pushing in again. This is, this is not looking good for NT. Jaeger rebounds. 4,005 with the kill. 7 of 5. 7 is one shot. Big doubt for some reason. Bad poke. Very questionable picking for the 7 of 5 yeah, They do get a kill. He's going to go either way. Did the yeah, you should the dumpster this chieftain. The, the IS-7 is just farming. Uh, yeah, hit the gun on the chieftain. Ah, uh, man. Ooh, no, that's not good. They are just DPM the 7 of 5 Ooh, FE just hit a dead tank. The kill shot on that 7 of 5 7 of 5 missed again. Those are for shot to miss, I believe. Jaeger is gonna try to lower Jaguar plate the chieftain. Nice. Jaeger should seven. die for that though. Lucky Out of the 705. Let's see if he dies. Everyone is reloading. He nice. bounced. Oh, so the bounced. Jeez. And vertical bounce. bounce. Dead. 705. This is a GG out of King. I have never seen it. It was looking good there for NT for a moment. They sent their tanks into the right position, and then all of them started panicking at once. And they lost the Death Star, and the Death Star was their reset on that sign scraping 705A. So, it... if the BK would have stayed alive, they would have won. Yeah, the, and they lost the, the BK part. for free. I don't know if you saw me, but that, that BK got two shotted. He got hit by the Iron 7, and then yeah, the 4005 hit him for 2k. They definitely threw the game. This is funny. They would learn that with like some experience. Like the BK instead of pushing that like very questionably, he could have just pushed the courtyard a little bit to like quickly in like the corner of the courtyard. But you have like a house that is broken and he could have just shot the guys he was looking to shoot from there instead of just pushing the open. Yeah, you can get an angle into the cap circle around that. And brick they could have won this game, very surprising. Surprisingly. <sighs> Yeager did 4k, so they let him fire Chief 8 shots. 4k. I was just upside with everybody, just panning every time he reloaded. Mm -hmm. 4005 with the pen and the BK. And Yager going 5k. Okay, very interesting game. GG on both teams. This is 3-2 for NT for the series. Bobcat what digging up that damage. I did not expect that. 4,300. Didn't really expect NT to win after the first game lineup and stuff. It was definitely an interesting game to watch. Yeah. You know, it looked like there for a second NT had all the right rotations uh, down for actually being able to deal with this cap setup. And they threw it away in two seconds, unfortunately for them. But they should learn from it. They should learn from it. Very interesting matches. A little bit different than I was expecting. I've I watched uh, some NBA on PC years ago, 
and it was, it was pretty interesting. This is uh, a little bit different. There's not really the same, or not even close to the same strats being used on console as they did on PC. It's pretty nice change up. I will say, if you do go up, uh, some of the better teams do run similar PC strats. Uh, kind of, our tanks are different, but yeah, this is. These are some unique matches, you could say. All well, right. thank you for having me tonight. Not a problem. You guys thanks have a all fantastic three. night. All three of you, thanks for commentating. Yep. No problem. Yep. No problem. Bye. Okay, thanks for Good stream. You're welcome. Ya. Thanks for coming. All right, that'll that'll end it for tonight. I apologize for the loud music on the intermission, guys. I didn't realize it was loud. It's been quite a while since I've ran a GTL setup, so I'll readjust the volumes for next one. So don't you worry, unless you want to lose a little bit of hearing, but that's your decision. <laughs> Anyways, thanks everyone for stopping by. All the follows, appreciate it, and.